What's going on guys, Real Touch Gmail here back with another Game Maker tutorial and today will be a continuation of how to create advanced platform AI and if you have not seen the first video of that go ahead and click that annotation on the bottom left there and it will bring you right there but if you have seen it we will go ahead and continue so right off the bat what I've done is I went ahead and created a little player that we can control uh, now if you don't know how to create a player in a platform game go ahead and check out the link in the description and that will bring you to uh, my platform game tutorial. So if we go ahead and play it, as you can see, it's just our player here, uh, along with our enemy. That just goes back and forth on that uh, on that little platform there. And so what I want to do for this tutorial is, if you get near him, he's actually going to start chasing you. And uh, if you get like far enough away from him, he'll just go on with going back and forth. Uh, now before we go through this, uh, I'd like to just point out a little glitch um, if you go ahead and put your enemy down here and we'll say we put him right there and we go ahead and play it he's gonna start going uh, but he's gonna stop right in the wall and that is a little glitch so what we can do here is in our OBJ enemy in the stop event we're gonna say if place meeting uh, X plus We'll say 16, comma y, comma obj block, and facing equals zero, and falling does not equal true. Facing equals one, and then we'll just go ahead and copy it and paste it down, and this will be negative 16 now, and that'll be zero. And we'll put this to one. So we go ahead and play it now. And you can see he goes, and he goes back. So that's how you fix that real quick. So now it is legitly uh, good. Now you can see there's a little bit of gap in there. Just go ahead and mess with the numbers uh, where I put 16 here. You can go ahead and shrink those, and that will give it a more precise. Um, reading to when it hits the wall but yeah just go ahead and play with those numbers so now we're gonna actually have him chase you so first off what we need to do is go into the create event we're gonna create a new variable and this is gonna be called global dot roaming equals true because they're gonna start off roaming now this is when they're just going back and forth on their platform and then we're also gonna say global dot chasing equals false and this is when they're gonna be chasing you now the reason we put global here is because we're going to need to uh, take this variable into our player class. So um, actually, you know what? We don't need to do that. Go ahead and just say roaming and chasing. All right. So in the step event, first off, what we're going to do is if we go down here, if facing uh, equals zero and falling does not equal true, you see we put speed here. We're actually going to put h speed. Now the reason this makes a difference is because speed is just a general speed throughout all directions. That's up and down, left and right. If we put H speed, that's only the speed for the horizontal movement. So it's not going to affect our vertical movement. So if we go ahead and go here um, into our, uh, our detection, we're going to say and roaming equals true. And we're going to copy this. Now we're going to paste it to the end of all of these. So there we go. And um, all right, now we're going to actually get into the chasing. So we're going to say if chasing equals equals true, this is what's going to happen. So what we want to do here is we want to find the x coordinates of our player, of the, the actual player. So we're going to say if x is less than obj player dot x dot x facing equals one else if x is greater than obj player dot x facing equals zero alright so what this is doing is if chasing equals true which will set it to true when he gets close we're gonna set we're gonna get the position of our enemy which is X 
and if it's less than if so if the player is uh, on the other side of x which is to the left facing equals one and if facing equals one a speed equals negative two and negative two is going to the left position um, and then same thing with the right so if we go ahead and we set roaming to false and chasing to true and we test it out here oh um oh yeah, that's right i got this mixed up it's actually zero and this is one my bad so yeah, as as you can see they're actually coming after me now um yep so uh they actually chase me now uh which is pretty awesome so now if i go ahead and set in the create event roaming to equal true again and chasing equal false they will just go about their business but in the step event here is where we're going to uh, get the detection make a all right so uh, close to player so if distance to object obj player is less than we'll say 100 pixels chasing equals true chasing equals true and roaming equals false all right let's go and test that out so as you can see they're, they're doing their thing here as you can see they're now chasing me um, when I got close so now we actually have to set it so that if you get far enough away from them then he'll stop so if distance to object obj player is greater than 100 roaming equals true chasing equals false so now if we go ahead and play it go ahead and test that out there um, okay so we just need to um, we'll say if this is greater than 400 So now if we go ahead and get away from them, that's got to be enough, right? Well, 400 is kind of a high number. Um, you so you can play around with this. We'll say, we'll say just 200, just for the sake of uh, this tutorial. I'm trying to just show. So as you can see, he's chasing me. Um, try and get far enough away here so yeah see now they're uh, they're just doing their normal thing here and uh, if we get up close to them oh and sorry and they kind of went inside each other uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, they kind of yeah all right <laughs> um, all right that's my tutorial for today go ahead and leave a like go ahead and subscribe um, let me know if you want me to do anything else or if you'd like to know anything else you can do with this advanced platform AI. Um, yeah, so go and leave a like, go and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.